Billy of the Autobots and the Decepticons intelligence officer Soundwave were both killed in a battle. Galvatron has reused some of Soundwave's parts, along with some other new parts, and has reconstructed another Soundwave, and renamed him New Soundwave. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. You finally come back to life. Hello, my little friends. The reason that you're back with us today is that we've got a new mission for you, new Soundwave, and there's no room for error, you understand? Yes, sir, I'm at your service. All right, then, listen carefully. This mission is the reason for your rebirth. I'm honored, sir. Do you see that over there? What is it? That's our latest invention. It's called the Magnetic Bug. We're going to use Earth as a lab to try it out. Yes, sir. Shuttle base, stand by now. It's changed its direction to 30 degrees just now. It's heading towards the fuel tanks. Report to Commander Rodimus Prime now. Reconnaissance, let's go. This sudden attack is gonna take Rodimus Prime by surprise. This weapon is the very finest. Let's see how they can handle it. <laughs> okay, transform. <laughs> that here we go the magnetic bug show them what they've got buddy <laughs> it seems our computer is out oh no Okay, six shot, the experiment's over. The bug has demonstrated its power already. Wonderful, then let's go back. Repair our computer right away. See if you can find out what was in the system the Decepticons were using just now. Yes, sir, all right. This experiment has been a total success. If we can further improve on its performance, 
You'll certainly be able to take over control of the Sigma computer. I'm going to blow Rodimus Prime to kingdom come. <laughs> According to the computer analysis, the Decepticons have got something that has a devastating effect on the Sigma computer. Magnetic bug? Why did the Decepticons only attack halfway, then retreat? What do you think, Commander? Why did they do that? I think that was just a test of the bug's power. So, do you think that they were trying to use that bug to interfere with the normal operation of the Sigma computer? They really think they can damage the Sigma computer with that kind of magnetic force? What a bunch of fools they are, huh? You're a little bit slow, aren't you, Wally? What? What do you mean? Are you saying that I'm wrong, R.C.? Wally, if they increase its magnetic energy level, they can control the computer. What? Is that right? The Decepticons are testing it now. At the same time, they're using it to intimidate us to show us what they can do. <laughs> Commander. What is it? What do you want? Why don't you let the four of us go and investigate this matter, sir? We'll launch a surprise attack on them and destroy this magnetic bug. That's right. Let's act now. Hey, I'm sure Highbrow will agree, too. So let's go. Hang on. Hmm, what's wrong? Why do we waste time? It's better to go on the defensive. Please give us permission to go now. Just calm down, everyone. Try to relax. We have to plan ahead. If we act rashly now, the result could be devastating, you know. But, sir, what if we can... Calm down. Please let the commander finish. Well, my idea is that, first of all, we'll let the cassette robot go to the enemy and collect information for us. Immediately. Commander, I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid I can't do it. I can't accept the mission. You can't do it? The thing is, we are not confident we can accomplish the mission. Hey, what's wrong with you guys? Excuse me, please. Just wait a second. I thought you were all soldiers of Cybertron. Stop it! Hey, Danny. They're just a bunch of cowards. Why do you defend them? It's not that they're afraid to go to war. You don't even understand how they really feel. You don't understand it, do you? I'll see. I'll go then. Oh, look, Commander, this is the video on Billy. a lot of love and respect for their commander, Billy. You just don't know how they feel when they lost their favorite commander. You don't understand. Of course I do. Oh, no, you don't! Danny, and all of you, listen. Billy is finally coming back to us. Huh? Is it true? Of course it's true. Fortress Maximus has used the technique from the Master Star to reconstruct Billy. That's wonderful, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
The Decepticons on the planet Jolo have already completed the process of expanding the magnetic bug's energy level. And now our final step to give Billy life is to input the energy into his body. Billy's come back to life. His first mission is to collect all information on the magnetic bug. He's renamed Blaster. Cassette robot, stand by! Headmasters, I want the four of you to cover the cassette robot team. Right. What do you think, Chrome Dome? Can you and your men handle it all? Of course we can, right? Yes! We're all ready to go, Captain Blaster. Let's go. Transform! 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 Keep an eye on that Ninja Consultant six shot for me. Sure. We'll take care of this. Hey! And fall on her! Oh, you're not the only one who can transform. Cassette robot, go in there! Improved magnetic bug has finally arrived here on Cybertron. We have to separate the Decepticons from the magnetic bug. Transform! We'll take the magnetic bug. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, stop fighting, you two. Come on, guys, get into the strike position now. Oh. 
system successfully. The magnetic bug has to listen to new sound waves command. They've already arrived on the planet Jolo. New sound wave. I see, so this must be what used to be sound wave. Landing on planet Jolo? But that's too risky. It's all right, sir. I have to take the chance. Since this bug is controlled by sound wave from planet Jolo, we're just going to have to finish sound wave off. That's the only way to ensure our victory. Blaster has decided to land on planet Jolo via the space bridge. It must be faked that Blaster and Soundwave meet again. Go to hell, Autobots! Take this! Contact HQ! Let me show these guys what we're made of! No! Decepticons have found out that Blaster has landed on Jolo. Fighting has broken out between the two. Soundwave, I know you're there. It's you, Blaster, so here we meet again. Yes, quite right. And we can continue where we left off last time. What happened to you? I thought you were dead. Or did they put you back together with some scrap metal? Ha! Stop talking rubbish. I've been reconstructed to destroy you and your sonic control. Blaster has already discovered the wave to control a magnetic bug is originating from Soundwave's chest area, the sonic control. You're pretty smart, huh? Say goodbye to your sonic control. My job is done. See ya. Darn it. Hey, this is the right time. Attack it! <laughs> the Decepticon's plan to use a magnetic bug to sabotage the Sigma yeah. computer has failed. All right. Thanks to Blaster, we've finally managed to overcome the magnetic bug. Yes, but how come Blaster still hasn't returned yet? Here I am. I'm back. Billy! Billy! My name's now Blaster. Don't you call me Billy anymore. Huh? All right, Blaster, but I still prefer Billy. <laughs> Captain Optimus Prime sacrificed himself for our country. I'm mostly going to do what I can to get rid of the Decepticons and make sure that peace and justice will rule throughout the world. <laughs>